Special measures are being taken to protect mourners at today's funeral of the Novichok murder victim Dawn Sturgis. Public Health England has been working with the funeral directors to ensure public safety. Our chief correspondent Richard Gaysford is in Salisbury with more details on this. Good morning, Richard. So what's being done here to protect people? Well, the coffin Charlotte's going to be put in place long before the mourners arrive for this private ceremony. There will be no pallbearers allowed to get close to the coffin itself, although Public Health England continue to say the risk to the general public remains low. Uh, you'll recall that Dawn Sturgis died earlier this month, having been exposed to the Novichok nerve agent at the end of June. Uh, her partner, Charlie Rowley, has told ITV News she effectively administered it herself, having sprayed it from a perfume bottle that he'd found in in a sealed box somewhere in the Salisbury area. It is thought that Mr. Rody will be here today to pay his last respects. Well, Salisbury Crematorium has very much been part of the Novichok poisoning story here. Uh, back in March, large areas of it were sealed off when it became clear that Sergei and Yulia Skripal had come here to visit uh, just in the days after them being exposed or in the time after them being exposed to the Novichok nerve agent themselves. Uh, Mr. Skripal's wife and son both have memorial plaques here at the crematorium. OK, Richard, thanks for that. Richard Gaysford there in Salisbury for us this morning.